It's important that the public see the Confederacy supporters as who they are and who they've always been. White supremacists intent on maintaining superiority and the inferiority of black people. By you not taking action on these statues, you are emboldening terrorists. You are emboldening racist terrorists like the Klan and their many imitators. The Confederacy it represents hatred, betrayal. My hat says United, <coughs> United States Air Force. I took a pledge and took a step forward that I would defend this country, this state, this city against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. Why would you vote for a monument or a statute that represents just the opposite of what I stood for? Part of the problem is that we've talked a great deal about our history, uh, whether that's the history of KKK violence here in Jacksonville, uh, the history of lynchings here in Jacksonville. Uh, that's something that these folks here don't want to talk about. I'm more than happy to talk with them about. The killings that happened are very real. And when the Daughters of the Confederacy raise a monument to say, oh, let's whitewash history, what you do is you kowtow to these people and you embolden terrorists. That's what the KKK was, is they were terrorists. They were domestic terrorists. Call them what, they're, what they are. Oh, I'm sorry, you have a disagreement? Oh, sir, Excuse me. sir, please. Please. Let not let I city honor the Confederacy. We are better than that. And those of you that think that it's some cultural cancellation, that's wrong. I will never, and I, my kids will never, my grandkids will never forget. So if you think that taking a step is going to cancel your culture, that's, those that support that, that's, that's not it. There is no place for hate in our city. We must turn the page and start a new chapter in our city, a chapter of peace and love. Like so many others in our, in our city, I'm frustrated and I'm appalled that the discussion on removing symbols of white supremacy has gone on for this long. It is literally your job to make hard decisions and you continue to kick the can on this issue. And this is an easy decision. Look at what our school board accomplished, renaming not one, but six Confederate named schools because it was the right thing to do. We continue to see Jacksonville make national headlines as anti-Semitic and racist displays stain our city. Some of you have condemned this on your social media, but your words are hollow if they are not followed with action. Do your job, move Jacksonville forward, take them all down. This should be one of the easiest decisions you make as elected leaders. This is not about erasing history. It's about removing monuments that were erected to honor racists and further ideals of white supremacy. They have no place in Jacksonville. Take them all down. Thank you.